Hey, Paul Akers here. You know, the other day I was teaching Robbie how to spray for weeds and I was going back to our garden area to set up to show him how to do it. And I noticed there were a few things that really weren't quite right. So I stopped for a minute. I said, Robbie, let's fix these. And Robbie agreed he wanted to fix them too. And in the process, we made well over 30 improvements. And people say, how can you do that? You work already in a world-class facility. Everything's absolutely sparkling clean. But yet you found 30 improvements. Let me show you how. I'll show you the way we think and how we do it. Now, I think most people would look at this and say, this is like unbelievable. They wish their garden area was this dialed in. Look at the way everything's done, the backpack blowers, everything's perfect. But this was the area right here that was in question, which is where we actually mix the chemicals and do everything right there to do all the spraying. So here you go, this is what happened. We walked up, we noticed the measuring cup was a deep blue. We couldn't see the measurements on the side. It was very difficult. So we went ahead and put eight ounces and 10 ounces there. And then we also scrubbed the cup out and made it clean. We labeled this right here and said, uh, do not use the ink in here because there's a measuring system already built into this. So it's just not necessary. Then all the mixing instructions that were already here, nicely printed up, were hanging around here. And we said it was a little cumbersome dealing with it there. So we slid it into the Kaizen foam. And then we saw that the face shield was only hanging by one screw, so we put it with two screws. Then we put a label on there to say where it goes. And then we noticed there was no glove, so if you get anything on your hands, you could have a pair of gloves. So we put the power head screws there. It slides in and out, then labeled that. And then we actually hung those in a different position. And we noticed there wasn't a good place for the wand to go, so we actually cut a tube into the Kaizen foam. Now the wand goes into there. And then we did that on the other one as well. And then we noticed the, the straps were not very comfortable. So we took our strapping system, went to our sewing department, and had our seamstress sew up everything, get everything dialed in. So now we have waist strap and new shoulder straps on both units. And then we noticed there was no trash can if we got anything on our hands or wanted to clean up something. So we put a trash can in and we just put our little brackets down here. See, we have our little brackets that we make. They're right there. And then the can just slides into it. So those are really cool. Those are called J-hooks. So now the trash can goes in there. And then of course we labeled where the trash can goes. And then we put a paper towel holder because that wasn't there. We labeled that. Then we put Windex there. We put Windex there. We noticed that we needed a screwdriver to change out this clip because we, take this, we took this clip from here and put it onto here, screwed it on the side of the bottle. So we needed a screwdriver, so we put it in there and we have a little utility knife there and we have to cut open bags of fertilizer. We noticed there was uh, tubes down here that belonged to the tables, they didn't belong there. So we put the fertilizer here in the appropriate place and the snow melt there and moved the tubes over to where they needed to be and made a nice organized spot for those. And then what else did we do? Man, it just went on and on and on. Then we noticed that there was somebody had set the little shield here. So then we cut in the shield into the plastic or into the foam right there. And then we noticed that this one was just kind of laying in the back. So we hung two power head screws there and hung that there. So that's kind of hard to even comprehend. We made that many improvements when we were just coming over here to mix a little bit of uh, chemical, but it gets better. Here's the next thing we did. So then when we went out to this hose area, we noticed that this hose was a little long, so we cut it the correct length and put two brackets down below there and spray painted so that was neatly organized. We noticed some of the quick disconnects were not correct, so when we want to disconnect the pressure washer, there's no quick disconnect, so we put a quick disconnect on there, and then of course we have a quick disconnect on here with a shutoff valve there, which improved that. Then we noticed some hoses were hanging here inappropriately, so we took those hoses and put those in the correct place, and I'll show you what's next. So then we went out to our great trash containment area, which is absolutely amazing. Most people wish their trash area looked this clean and ours just is amazing. But we went out here and we noticed that these hoses were in a big box, difficult to get to. So we bought racks for every one of them and hung them up there. So it's easy to grab the hoses as we need them for different areas in there. Then when we put the uh, water in the chemical, we wanted to set the backpack right here. So it slips underneath there and stays there. So now we can just fill it directly into there and then when we want to get into it, we just get in like that and we walk away. So no lifting, no struggling or anything like that. We noticed there was not a quick disconnect to change out that. So we changed out and fixed that. We put a clamp on that hose right there. And then we came over here and we noticed that this was not very well done. So we fixed all this. We ran that hose all the way to the back there, put clamps on that all the way there, and then put a hose reel in the back for watering the lawn and watering things up there. Then, 
we noticed that the sprinklers were just kind of leaning in the corner, so we hung all those up. We had the garden wall in there. We noticed these tarps right here that cover the lawnmower in the wintertime were just pushed in the corner. That's not easy to clean because then you can't blow back here. So we put speed braces up there, hung that. Then we noticed these were also in a box hidden. So we hung one of our uh, buckets on the wall here and put all the sprinkler parts in there and then put the wheelbarrow there. And wow, it just goes on and on and on. So that's all the improvements we made just because we were going to mix chemicals. And that's a typical day improvement at FastCap. And we're already working in a world-class facility and we still feel the need to improve at that level. And come Monday morning, we'll find a whole bunch more improvements and everything just keeps getting better. And the bottom line is we don't struggle when we work here. Everything is easy. Work should be fun. It should be meaningful and it should not be a struggle. And this is what lean is all about. And this is what continuous two second improvements produce.